Earth with its rich diversity seems immense to us. Yet in the cosmic scale, Earth is just a tiny ball about 12,000 kilometers in diameter. Now, let's examine our neighboring celestial body, the Sun. A glowing sphere of hot plasma, the Sun is about 1.4 million kilometers in diameter. That's a staggering 109 times the diameter of our home planet. Yes, you heard it right, 109 Earths lined up, edge to edge would stretch across the sun's diameter. Imagine this for a moment, a beach ball and a tiny pea placed side by side. The beach ball represents the sun and the pea, our Earth. The vast difference in their sizes is a humble reminder of our place in the universe. The sun, our closest star, is not even the biggest star in the cosmos. There are stars out there like UY Scuti that are even more colossal. Dwarfing our sun like a grape next to a basketball, it's awe-inspiring, isn't it? The vastness of the cosmos and the relative minuscule size of our planet, yet it's this very scale that makes life on Earth possible. The sun, with its massive size, provides us with the light and heat necessary for life. Now let's take this understanding a step further. Imagine, if you will, a world where Earth and the sun share the same size. A world where Earth is as big as the Sun. In a universe where Earth matches the Sun in size, what would be the implications for our planet and its inhabitants? Let's start with gravity. Gravity is proportional to mass. So if Earth were as large as the Sun, its gravitational pull would be about 333,000 times stronger. This would be a world where the simple act of standing up would be impossible. Imagine the weight of your own body multiplied hundreds of thousands of times we'd all be flatter than pancakes. Our environment would undergo drastic changes as well. Earth's atmosphere, currently a thin layer, would expand to a much larger scale due to the increased gravitational pull. This would result in an incredibly dense atmosphere, effectively smothering any life forms that might have survived the increased gravity. Speaking of life forms, they would be dramatically different if they could exist at all. The enormous gravity would likely prevent the development of complex structures necessary for life as we know it, any life that could survive would have to be incredibly dense and small to withstand the immense pressure. Now let's consider our solar system. The Sun's position at the center of our solar system isn't just a matter of convenience, it's a complex dance of gravitational forces. If Earth were the size of the Sun, it would likely become the new center of our solar system, causing chaos and potentially flinging our current planets into the cold depths of space or into the fiery surface of our new, supersized Earth. In this new universe, Earth would no longer be the blue marble we've come to know and love. Instead, it would be a monstrous, inhospitable giant, ruling over a solar system thrown into chaos. So while the idea of a sun-sized Earth may be an intriguing thought experiment, the reality would be far from pleasant. In such a world, life as we know it would be dramatically different, if not impossible. Consider the gravity of the situation quite literally. What would happen to Earth's gravity if it were as large as the Sun? Now that's a thought to wrap your head around. Let's dive into it. We know that the force of gravity depends on two things, the mass of the objects involved and the distance between them. The more mass an object has, the stronger its gravitational pull. So imagine Earth, but with the mass of the Sun. It's a staggering idea, but bear with me. The Sun's mass is about 330,000 times greater than Earth's. If Earth were to suddenly gain that much mass, the force of gravity on its surface would skyrocket. In fact, it would be about 28 times stronger than what we experience now. What would that mean for us? Well, you'd feel a lot heavier for starters. Let's say you weigh a comfortable 150 pounds. On a Sun-sized Earth, you'd weigh more than 4,000 pounds. That's heavier than a small car. Every step would be a monumental effort. You'd feel like you're constantly climbing a steep hill, except that hill is everywhere. Even everyday objects would become near impossible to lift. A simple cup of coffee? That's now the equivalent weight of a full-grown Labrador retriever. And it's not just us humans who'd struggle. The increased gravity would affect all life on Earth. Trees would have to be as strong as steel to stay upright. Birds? Forget about it. Flight as we know it would be impossible in this high gravity world. But it's not all doom and gloom. Life has a funny way of adapting to new circumstances. Maybe we'd evolve into incredibly strong, dense beings able to withstand the crushing force of gravity. 
Or perhaps we'd take to the oceans, where the buoyant force of water could counteract some of the gravity's effects. In a world where you weigh a hundred times more than you do now, how would you adapt? It's a fascinating, if somewhat terrifying, thought experiment. But it certainly puts the gravity of the situation into perspective, doesn't it? Our environment is finely tuned to our planet's size, but what would happen to it if Earth were as big as the Sun? Imagine this, the Earth, our familiar blue planet, ballooning to the size of the Sun. The environmental implications are as vast as this new planet would be. Picture the atmosphere, that thin blanket of gases that shields us from the harshness of space. As Earth expands, this protective layer would stretch, thinning out until it's barely there. The blue sky, once filled with fluffy clouds, would darken, fading into the blackness of space. On this sun-sized Earth, weather patterns would be unrecognizable. The vast surface area would lead to extreme variations in temperature and pressure. Imagine storms so large they could swallow continents, winds blowing at unimaginable speeds, and temperatures fluctuating wildly from one area to the next. Now think about the oceans. The immense gravity of our sun-sized Earth would pull the seas into a thin, vast layer covering the entire planet. The increased pressure at the ocean floor could create a layer of high-pressure ice known as Ice Devon, a phase of water only seen on other planets. And what about life? The conditions on this colossal Earth would be far too hostile for life as we know it. The increased gravity would make movement incredibly challenging and the thin atmosphere would offer little protection against the sun's radiation. Life, if it could exist, would have to adapt to these extreme conditions, evolving in ways we can't even begin to imagine. Yet despite these drastic changes, this sun-sized Earth would still be our home. It would be a world of extremes, from the dark, thin atmosphere to the vast, pressurized ocean. But it would also be a world of awe-inspiring wonders, of storms larger than continents and a sea that stretches as far as the eye can see. A sun-sized Earth would not just be a larger home, but a drastically different one. In a world where Earth is as big as the sun, we would face challenges that are hard to even imagine. The sheer scale of our planet would be beyond comprehension, dwarfing everything we know and understand. The force of gravity would be so potent, we'd be flattened like pancakes, struggling against the weight of our own bodies. The environment would transform dramatically, with the atmosphere extending far into space and weather systems that make our current hurricanes look like mere breezes, life as we know it would be impossible. Every organism on Earth is adapted to our planet's specific size and gravity. If Earth were the size of the sun, everything from the smallest bacteria to the largest whale would need to evolve dramatically to survive. While a sun-sized Earth is a fascinating concept, it's clear that our planet is perfectly sized for life as we know it.